Yeah, These students are part of a team at Sydney Central High School that tracks and operates seven separate weather stations. One is a river gauge along the Susquehanna. They're brushing up on local flood levels in preparation for a big meeting with the United States Geological Survey. We are a little nervous about the, the USGS possibly cutting funding to gauges. The students think they have the solution. They want to work with the USGS to find funding to replace and maintain gauges in their area that could be shut down. Steve yeah, McCown remembers the devastation the 2006 flood caused in Sydney. It would be nice if we could get the lead time that they didn't really have in that situation. We have to look at many different components, not just the, the stations that we have, but you know, the, the more information that we have, the better. Uh, will be to uh, make future predictions. We can go to all the different and students will and gain more hands-on experience. It's really given us more contact with our community and for them to see how much we're really doing, how much we're capable of, and the work that we could potentially be doing to help our community. The group believes their work could be the blueprint say, for other schools um, to follow. It would be nice looking back if we were you know, the pilot program, so to speak, to get this started. And help fill a void for right, flood that's gauge really funding so that's so drying that. up. So In Sydney, Eric Burling, WBNG-TV, Action News.